The government of Algeria allocated $278 billion to create diverse projects in the transportation, housing, energy, and educational sectors during the past few years, supporting growth with large investments. The World Bank categorizes Algeria as an upper-middle-income nation in which its gross national income per capita for 2019 was $4,010, which is a rise of 0.75% from 2018. With a population of about 43 million, Algeria had a gross domestic output of $172 billion in 2020. Industry accounts for 61% of the nation's GDP, followed by services at 30% and agriculture at 9%. But before continuing, we'd like to draw attention to the 10 most impressive projects that are either ongoing in North Africa or have just recently been completed. If you're new here, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our exciting future videos. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community you're missing out. Ten, Mostaganem Tramway Light Rail Project. A test run for Algeria's Mostaganem Tramway Light Rail Project is currently underway. The 14.5 kilometers Mostaganem Tramway Project consists of two lines with 24 stations toppling 14 kilometers of track. The North-South T1 line will connect Salamander Place in the north to the University of Karuba in the south, serving 19 stations while the east-west T2 line will connect the city's main line station in the east, where it will interchange with the T1 to Avenue Abain Randain bus station, serving five stations. Work on the 14.5 km network began in August 2013 and was initially carried out in Spain by a consortium of Alstom and Islux under a $290 billion contract awarded by the Algiers Metro Company, EMA, which is managing the project. Construction was originally scheduled to be completed by May 2015, but was delayed due to flooding, subsidence, and a severe financial crisis. Work was later resumed through a consortium of Alstom and the Colsided Group Algeria, with regular operations now expected to begin later this year. The network will be run by a fleet of 25 Citadis 402 LRVs, which are 43.9 meters long. They will be made by CITL, a joint venture of Alstom, EMA, and Ferrovial, Spain, at its plant in Anaba. Alstom also made the tracks, catenary, telecommunications, and signaling, substations, and tickets for the network. 9. Chifa to Beruagia Expressway The Algerian Prime Minister officially opened the Chifa Beruagia Highway last December. The expressway runs for 53 kilometers through the Atlas Mountains, which were the bottleneck part of the Algeria South North Expressway due to the extreme construction difficulties. The main construction work included a 10-kilometer tunnel, several bridges spanning up to 16 kilometers, and subgrade engineering. The joint operating group established by Sonatrach, Petroceltic and Enel for the Ain Sila development project in Algeria, located approximately 1,100 km southeast of the Ain Sila field, will produce gas, LPG, and condensate for the local Algerian market before exporting it. The lump sum engineering procurement and construction project scope of work includes commissioning, startup, and performance testing under the terms of the 42-month contract. 7. Saida Mascara Expressway In order to improve regional connectivity and reduce traffic congestion, Algeria's Ministry of Public Works is building a 101-kilometer-long new dual-line expressway between Saida and Mascara. 
construction of five interchanges, 18 engineering structures, six viaducts, 25 hydraulic structures, dividers, exchanges, tunnels, and other related facilities is also part of the project. The project entails the construction of a 101 km long four-lane expressway connecting the cities of Mascara and Seda. The project is being built in stages. The first phase of the project, measuring 43 km in length, is being built between the East-West Highway and Tizi near Mascara. The project's second phase will be developed between Tizi near Mascara and Seda. The first phase of the project is further subdivided into two sections, the Hassin East-West Highway section, 25 km, and the Hassin Tizi section, 25 km. Construction activities for the first phase of the project began in May 2015. Construction work is currently underway. 6. Oud Playlet High Speed Rail Project The Oud Playlet High Speed Railway Line is part of a larger development plan for the Trans Maghreb Railway Corridor, which includes railway lines in Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Mauritania, Libya, and Egypt. The project involves a 132-kilometer stretch of track that is part of the railway link between the maritime city of Oran and the Moroccan border, with a mix of passenger and freight traffic. The construction of 56 viaducts along the line is divided into three categories, common, special, and exceptional. All of the viaduct structures will be made of a steel-slash-concrete mixture. The superstructure of the track necessitates the installation of UIC-60 type rails on twin-block reinforced concrete sleepers with nebula-type fastening, above layers of ballast, sub-ballast, and a protective compacted sand-slash-gravel mix level known as super-compact. The project also addressed architectural and functional aspects related to the construction renovation of four stations. 5. Garad Jebelet Iron Ore Project Garad Jebelet in Western Algeria is one of the world's most important iron ore deposits. It was discovered in 1952 and has an estimated reserve of over 2 billion tons of mineral wealth, iron grading over 50%. Firol, Algeria's national iron and steel company, has reached an agreement with the Chinese company Sinosteel Equipment and Engineering Co. Limited to conduct pre-feasibility and feasibility studies on the development of the Gara Jebelet iron ore deposit. According to preliminary estimates, the project could cost more than $2 billion. The project includes the design of the processing plants, as well as all necessary infrastructure for the transportation of materials and products, as well as the supply of water and energy, all while taking into account the mine's remote location. The recovery of this iron ore is both strategic and challenging, and it should be noted that by establishing a production platform of international proportions, Algeria will position itself as a leader on a continental scale. 4. Galsi Pipeline Project the Galsi Pipeline, alternatively referred to as the Gastotto Algeria Sardegna Italia GALSI, is a proposed gas pipeline that would connect Algeria and Italy. The pipeline would originate in Caudiat Drouch, Algeria, near the Anaba Gulf, and connect to the Algeria Sardinia undersea section. The pipeline would begin in Sardinia at Porto Bot and then head north to Olbia. The pipeline would connect to the undersea Sardinia Tuscany section at Olbia. The pipeline would terminate in Italy's Piombino, where the gas would be delivered to the country's national gas distribution system. 3. Port of El Hamdania Algeria's government intends to develop a deep water port in El Hamdania, 80 kilometers west of Algiers, to alleviate congestion and facilitate international trade. The port is intended to compete with Morocco's Tangier Met Port as a regional hub for North Africa and the Mediterranean. It will have a 25 million ton annual capacity and 23 terminals capable of handling up to 6.5 million 20-foot containers. In January 2016, a memorandum of understanding was signed for the project and initiative of former President Abdul Aziz Pafaskalakat. The agreement committed the China State Construction Engineering Company, 
the China Harbor Engineering Company, and the Algerian Port Authority to the project in exchange for China financing the agreement and outsourcing import operations for the first 25 years. Algerian media reported in 2019 that the then under construction deepwater port of El Hamdania had been suspended. Although the government is eager to restart construction due to the port's strategic importance, when completed, the portable Hamdania in Churchill will be the country's largest and first deepwater port, as well as Africa's second deepwater port. Two, Tafok One Solar Project. Algeria's government intends to begin construction of Tafuk One, a mega solar project, within the next few years. As confirmed in 2020, it will enable the construction of several photovoltaic solar power plants with a combined capacity of 4,000 megawatts. The project is expected to be completed in 2024, and it is expected to cost up to $3.6 billion. This project will generate 56,000 jobs during the construction phase and 2,000 jobs during the operation phase. Algeria aims to generate 22 gigatons of green energy by the end of the decade, with 13.6 gigatons dedicated to photovoltaic solar energy. The transition to green energy is deemed necessary due to the fact that oil and gas have become the economic lifeblood of both countries. One, Tebessa Phosphate Plant Project. Algeria's truck project is a $6 billion joint venture with China to develop a phosphate plant in the country. The Algerian-Chinese partnership will see the phosphate plant developed in Basset, eastern Algeria. The plant is expected to begin operations by the end of 2022, creating over 3,000 jobs. The project proposes to increase the annual output of the phosphate mine in Tebessa's eastern region from 1 million to 10 million tons. Algeria, which has the world's third largest phosphate reserves, plans to increase its phosphate production from 2 million tons per year to 30 million tons per year by 2030, establishing it as a major exporter of phosphate-based fertilizers. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list, but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.